That should be it. We're live and recording, it says. Okay. Woohoo! Hey, hey, YouTube land. Seems dark. Hey, hey, YouTube land. How are you? Because that's not allowed here. Oh, that's probably, yeah, because I took that one out because of the glare. Hope y'all are doing well. This is our maiden voyage on the YouTube channel. And so um, we're just kind of going to have to feel our way through. I figured out how to get live, and I'm pretty sure I am live. Um, and so we're going to do, our, we typically do our lives on Facebook. My name is Jane Belk. Hey, hey, you. Oh, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> we're here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and my trusty assistant is Anna Gardner. And for those of you that have never watched us before because we've never been on YouTube, um, we're kind of like joined at the hip. So if I'm ever live, Anna is always with me, just almost 100% of the time. Rarely is she not here. So we, we're, we're a team together, and we do DIY videos. We also have a Facebook presence. And if you are new to, if you don't like us on Facebook but have subscribed to our YouTube channel, we'd love for you to hop over there and, and uh, subscribe to Facebook. But we're going to work today. Well, let me tell you a little bit about me. Hey! There, Ruby Crampton. There's uh, Mar Yay, Ruby found us. <laughs> <laughs> Maryland in the house. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, hello, Evelyn Cross. Yay, found it. Yes, <laughs> you found it, and we figured out how to get here. So some some major technological hurdles have been overcome here today. Um, but for those of you that don't know me, I'm Jane Belk. Uh, I have Funkature Gifts and DIY Studio. We're in Hiawassee, Georgia, which is in the upper northeast corner of Georgia, very, very close to the Appalachian Trail. Um, and we're glad you're here. <laughs> Arkansas, all right. Um, hey, Mary Harris, there we go. Mary Cushing Harris, we're here. Decoupage Queen is here. Hey, Decoupage Queen, look. I got on your shirt today. So, um, we're, I am a stockist for DIY paint. I'm a stockist for Aya Iron Orchid Designs. I'm a stockist for Jamie Ray Vintage. And also for some, I can't remember the name of the company, but we also carry a line of, of smaller stencils that are geared more toward people that like to art journal and do mixed media and those kinds of things. So, um, our web, website is functuregifts.com. All right. So today we're going to be working with the brand new IOD release, which is their cameos and their picture frames. And, and I'm just going to show you some kind of fun ways to use these cameos to create some really beautiful uh, Christmas decor. Especially if you like to decorate in a theme, these would be beautiful for either a vintage Christmas or a Victorian Christmas or... Um, uh, really any kind of a French country, any of those sort of European farmhousey type uh, Christmas decorations. These would be beautiful. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I'm going to switch you over to my camera that will put you on my work surface. And we've got, this is just a clear uh, ball that I think Anna got at the dollar store, right? Yes, ma'am. This came from the Dollar Tree. And I've painted it in my vintage linen, since we're doing vintage Christmas ornaments, which is my DIY clay base paint. And then we have this little oval here we're going to work on. And I've already pre-made one of our, my cameos, and that's right here under this uh, tape. And I'll explain all that to you here in a moment. But first, let me do just make a few cameos and show you how we're going to attach them to this Christmas ball. Okay? So these are the new cameo molds. Beautiful, gorgeous molds. You've got cameos. Um, this is a beautiful cameo. I've got a lot of cornstarch in it, so it might be hard to see. You've got a clock. You've got some hearts. You've got some little small birds right here. And um, just some very teeny, tiny uh, cameos. So if you're a jewelry maker or a mixed media artist uh, of, that likes to work in smalls and art journaling, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, mold. Okay, so oh hey Miss Teresa, hey Karen from Texas, thanks for joining us. Yes, we're so glad y'all are here on our maiden voyage on YouTube. Yeah, we've been getting cut off so much on Facebook. We wanted to at least try to do a live without getting cut off mid sentence. That's right. 
Yeah, I think we lasted 15 minutes on Friday, so we finally, <laughs> yeah. we've given up the ghost on Facebook for now until they get their, their problem situated. So this is Iron Orchid Designs Paper Clay. This is, I use this almost exclusively um, with my Iron Orchid Design Molds. There are other things you can use like uh, uh, resin and other air dry clays. These, these molds are also food grade, so they're good for fondant and chocolates and um, things like that too, okay? So there's a lot of things you can do with these molds. We do suggest that if you're gonna use these in the food industry to have two sets, one for your arts and crafts and one for your food so that you don't you know, get arts and crafts material in your chocolate. <laughs> People don't like the way that tastes. All right, so I think I want, I think I want this big cameo. So the first thing you do when you're working with these molds is apply just a little cornstarch into your mold. And the more detailed you have with one of these, um, you know, maybe a little bit heavier you wanna do the cornstarch, um, just to make sure that you get a, a, a good impression and a, and a clean release. So you kind of dust your mold, Mary then just flip. Says pretty mold. They are pretty molds. And then you just kind of flip it over and tap it, and that get, takes the excess and leaves you a nice coverage for your um, impression. Hey, okay? Danny. She said, beautiful day today. Thanks for coming awesome. over. Awesome, yes. Here. Thanks, y'all. Hey, Miss Linda Baker, you found us. Thank you. New York in the house. Mary says, I'm <laughs> glad you're, you're on YouTube. Facebook has been horrible for watching videos. They keep cutting out. We know we're mid-sentence and we get cut out. And That's we, why we're here. <laughs> and we feel terrible. So this pushed us. We needed to do it anyway, so that was just the push to... Come Finally got here, us, so. got us here. So. Thank you for coming on our yeah. maiden voyage. <laughs> hey, Miss Nellie, Nellie found us. Hey, hey, welcome. So glad y'all are here. So this is paper clay, and you want to just work it in your hands just a little, just to kind of warm it up and get it nice and flexible. And then you just press it into your mold. And this is probably a little more than I need, but that's all right. And then you can, after you get the um, paper clay into your mold, these molds have a patent pending design micro rim that allows you to clean your mold up and get a nice even edge. Let's see if I can maybe use this one. I'm not sure if you can really see, but there's like a little edge there. I think you can see that. There's a little edge, a little raised edge. These are frame, frame molds but there's an edge around every one of these that allows you to clean this off so that you get a nice, perfect, crisp image, design, impression, however you wanna say that. And then to get it flat, you can use a credit card. I have this, um, I guess it's like a paint spatula that I use. And you just lay it almost flat so that the tips are touching on either side, resting on the micro rim. And not with a lot of pressure, but you just kind of push along and that helps you clean your back and get it nice and flat. See, like that. Um, I usually work in small sections and push the excess paper clay away from the mold. If you try to start at the top and drag it like this, a lot of times it'll, it'll pull it up. So I kind of start in the middle, allow it to rest on the micro rim, and pull pull the excess clay away. Okay? Which and that makes, makes it so much easier. <laughs> yes, which makes it so much easier, and that gives you a nice flat back. Now there, I've got it a little thin, so I'm just gonna add a little back in. And there. you definitely want it flat, especially if you're gonna be gluing them together or gluing them on yes. you know, like a piece of furniture. Sometimes it doesn't matter if they're a little wonky, but it makes your life easier if it's flat. Yes, it it absolutely does. And you you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but reasonably flat on the back. Okay? <laughs> LS is here. LS, all right. Watching and working out, but she can't figure out how to, um, she messaged me, she can't, she's watching, but she can't figure out how to message, she probably, it doesn't have a YouTube account, but she found us, so that's okay. good. <laughs> well, that's great. Afterwards, I'll help her get set we'll, up. <laughs> we'll work on a YouTube account for LS. Hey, LS, by Peggy, the way, is Peggy, Anna's mama. <laughs> Peggy just found us, and hey, he's finally got on to chat. Thank you. Awesome. We're so glad you found us. We're, we're excited. So look at the beautiful cameo. Is that not just 
gorgeous. Decoupage Queen says this mold is so gorgeous. It, it is gorgeous. It just absolutely is, is super my favorite fabulous. Is the, is the watch. I think the watch is just deadly gorgeous, the pocket watch. Here, well, we've never even done way. it yet. Jane has to do that one for me. There you go. There she is. She's just lovely. Lots of details. Okay, so we're going to we're going to flip her over now. And I my glue of choice is just a wood glue. I've got Gorilla wood glue, but the um what's other wood glue? Tight bond. Uh actually, let's use the quick and thick cuz we're going to be on a on a curved surface. So if I'm, I'm Peggy wanna... says so much better here. Oh, we're so yes. glad. Yes, we're was, so glad y'all are here. We had a couple <laughs> weeks of really rough times over there. Thank you for coming over here with yes, us. Yes, we are so grateful that y'all are here with us. Very grateful. Teresa says these cameo molds are fabulous. It's her new favorite mold. They are fabulous, and um, we, I we mean, will, and Jane's only used it a couple times, and it's just beautiful. Yeah. For all oh, you jewelry Leapy's makers here. out there. Leapy's hey, Leapy. She said, not sure if YouTube showed my name when I said good morning. No, it doesn't even have an initial for you, girl. You're like a lost puppy. You need something in your circle. <laughs> <laughs> you need something in your circle. You're just a head and shoulders right there. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get my other one. This one's kind of dried up in the... Thank yeah. you guys for coming. We're getting a little bit more and more as we go. So it'll, it'll take a little bit. It'll, it'll take a, a little bit to yeah. get used to. Well, there's always a learning curve with yeah. anything. I mean, you we're do not do. abandoning Facebook, but we sure don't want to be cut off every other yeah. word. So. We're going to wait for them to get their act back together, and then we'll be back over there. So this is Tight Bond Quick and Thick, which is a... Um, hey, it Ruby. Is another... Is this Ruby Branch? Uh, no, Ruby Crampton. Ruby Crampton. You might okay. have already said hello. To I her, did. That's Maryland in, in the house. Yeah, I was in the middle of sharing, so I might have missed. Oh, yeah. Ruby was the first one on. She Ruby was, Crampton, okay. yes. So this is a, a version of wood glue, but it sets up really fast. It's a little bit thicker, and so it works great on curved surfaces. So for what we're doing with this little cameo, you're going to see here in just a second, you'll, you'll understand why you want to use... Um, you know, a quick setting type. Wood Linda glue. says, Anna, can you turn on the ability to get notifications? It says it's turned off. Okay, yeah, when we're, I'll, if I, I probably can't figure it out now, but I will. Because that way it'll notify you guys when we come on, I guess. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're learning. Thank you. I'll, yeah, thank you for telling that us that. We will. We're Ruby, on it, boss. Ruby says she didn't think she wanted that mold, but she might be second-guessing it now. That it's a gorgeous it. mold. It's beautiful. And one thing you want to make sure you do when <laughs> you put says your... says if you build it, they will come. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. That's right. Be sure you put your... Uh, you, your mold on right side up. I had this one on upside down. So. Meaning you don't want her face to be. Yeah, wrong. you don't want her looking uh, south when she wants when you want her, you know, facing. Oh, did you change it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, because I'm it. still a little behind. So, so I see you putting it on wrong. See, <laughs> I'm turning it. I've turned it around now. So there That's you okay, go. That's okay, Ruby. I figured it out, girl. All right. So there's that. So we're gonna set her up like this. And she's probably going to be a little top heavy. We may just need to, we'll just rest her right there for now. And then we're going to make one more to put on the other side. So we'll need to dust our mold. With every casting, you should dust your mold with cornstarch. Cornstarch, flour, um, baby yeah, powder. Somebody uses baking soda. Baking Julie soda. uses baking soda. So yeah. Don't you know? You don't have to go out and buy something different if you don't right. have that. Yeah. You just want some type, you know, of product like that to use. Okay. And then dump it, tap it, so you get rid of the excess. If you forget to tap it, it's not going to matter. If you get a little excess on your impression, you just take your brush and brush it away. Okay. No problem. So work your clay just a tiny bit. Press it in. I tried to get make it a little bit less this time so I didn't have quite as much. And this is air dry clay. So if, you, if you're going to be using your clay for a long period of time, you probably want to keep it wrapped up as you're working because it does dry. Um, you know, but if, you know, for a couple of little impressions, it's not necessary to wrap it up, but you do want to, as soon as you're through with it, you do want to make sure that you go ahead and seal it back up, okay? 
airtight, and I'll, I'll explain to you how to do that here in just a second when we wrap mine back up. What are you doing? Making another one and going to put it on the other mm -hmm. side of her? Mm -hmm. what do we, how are we going to paint her? Um, well, I just thought I would paint her all probably vintage linen and then use um, dark and decrepit. Oh, I love dark and decrepit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and Everything. make her look old. Yeah. Peggy says she's so happy she found that she was panicking. Oh, I, I did post the link on our sweet. Facebook page. So hopefully, if I did it correctly, which I think I did, everybody should be able to click on there and come on over. And if they don't have an account, they can still watch, like my mom, but she just can't comment, but we'll get her signed up. But I hate that word subscribe, because every time you say subscribe to our channel, people always think it means money, because obviously... That YouTube is totally free. Yeah, it's just the the way that they they just use that word. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Debbie Feek, found us from Ohio. So Welcome. Glad you're here, Debbie. We're so glad you're here. Yes, Yay, thank you. You found us. All and right. Hopefully, we will, you know, get stopped mid mid sentence. We're doing an ornament. We are. That is an ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree. So it was a dollar. It's plastic, and Jane painted it with DIY paint vintage linen. And she already did one cameo mold from the new IOD mold. And she is doing another one for the other side, and it'll be done. This is the larger cameo in the set. This is probably the largest one in the mold. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's at at a glance, it looks like about twenty different um, mold castings in That's this mold perfect. set. So. 20. That actually, she's good now. She's perfect. Okay. All right, so let's get her look glued on here. It's amazing. The detail is truly amazing. They really do look like old cameos. I mean, really. They do. I mean, totally. If you guys have seen what people are doing with it, it's with the jewelry and bracelets and chocolates. And remember, you guys, what I tell you, for the holidays... You can do this for butter. It is so cool. If you're having a party. Wouldn't these cameos be gorgeous as a butter mold? A, oh, my I just gosh. Said butter. Everybody in your table can have their own little butter Cameo butter. With their own cameo butter. I mean, how awesome. And if you have a male, how perfect. Give the male the stop. The uh, stopwatch. It's not a stopwatch. It's called a pocket watch. A pocket watch. How cool mm -hmm. would that be? Yeah. Because, I mean, most guys don't probably want a cameo. So no, they probably don't. a pocket watch. I think you give them a cameo. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. Awesome. So, uh, that would be cool. And, you guys, uh, we've used them for ice. Even though they're not going to stay long, it still would be pretty cool. They're beautiful. But the butter would be the bomb. The butter would be, that would be fabulous. For your Thanksgiving what table. What a gorgeous or a table. baby shower. How cool on a baby shower table. That would be really cool. Yes. And if you wanted to add a little bit of food coloring, actually, to the part that is just, you could really ma make it a two-tone so that you s show up the cameo even more. You know what I'm saying? If you don't mind food coloring, you could, you could color her a color or put the, bu put the, um, cameo in first as the butter and then you could color the outside rim and put that over the top of her. Put her in first, freeze her so that the butter's frozen and then if you wanted to color this side, like a cameo is typically white in the background as a color, then you could color the other part of the butter mold and um, add it over the frozen part. And it Mary would... says she has to get this mold. I didn't think I needed it. Linda Baker says everyone hit the thumbs up. Show Jane some love. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hit it because we, we don't <laughs> even know what it looks like on this side. Yeah, we don't know anything show about us, this. Show us some love and I'm going to see if we can even see it. We're just, you know. We're, so, so we're okay, so we there's go. that. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you, this is just another technique for um, using these molds. Um, and I did this one yesterday. I cast this one yesterday so it could set up. Don't forget the farther up you go, the better. Okay. And that's what you're seeing right here. So, I did two things yesterday. I cast this beautiful frame in the frames mold. And um, as you can see, it's, it's slightly concave. So when you 
you know, you have to think backwards. So when you lift this up, there's like a little hump right there. And then I cast this, this same cameo, this larger cameo, and she's the same way. And she can, you can kind of hollow this out a little bit if you're kind of careful. So let me show you what I did. So let me pull this tape off. The tape, the reason you want to put tape down when you're casting this air dry clay is you want, it has a tendency to move and curl or, um, you know, it doesn't want to lay flat because it doesn't necessarily dry uh, uniformly. So if you'll put just a little bit of tape over it this way to hold it, it'll keep it flat, okay? And this is a non-stick surface. You want to put it on a non-stick surface and see it just came right up. And I can tell by the way it feels that it may not be totally dry. It's not totally dry, but it's dry enough for what we're going to use it for. But as you can see, let's see, let me get it here. Peggy, they recommend that you not use them for food after you start using them to craft. But obviously that's your personal opinion. If you scrub them really good with hot water and soap. I don't see why I would have hurt. no problem personally doing it, especially because these products are pretty green anyway. The right. Clay. Right. So, but that, you know, that's, but we're supposed to tell you. That's you our know, disclaimer you that you should use it. Ones. You should use two <laughs> different ones. But I don't understand no, why you that. can't wash it and use it, you know. Look I don't that. understand. That's what gorgeous. Doing. Oh, so look background. at that. So that's that beautiful frame I cast. And all these little tiny details. Can you see all those little ridges there on the edge of that frame? So you put the cameo in the middle of that? I did. I cast the frame. Okay. And took it out. And then I cast the cameo and I glued it on top of the frame. So it's raised. Because they are made to go together. Right? They are they made. They created to, them yes. at the same time. They, are, they have perfect symmetry so that you these cameos will fit on top of these various frames. Show them the frames one more time when you get a chance to. Okay. The actual... So you have this use. big frame. This is the one I use Because it really today. looks like you did that as one piece, not two. And it is definitely two. So this is the frame I used and cast for the cameo that we're using today. Then you have these two frames that are a little smaller. And then this is a frame. And then this is a frame. So you have a frame within a frame. Okay? That's beautiful. So you can cast either this outside or you can cast the entire thing, and then this performs like a mat, or you can cast just this little tiny one inside. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six different frames in this mold. It's a Nelly gorgeous, Nellie says that's gorgeous absolutely mold. gorgeous. Peggy gave you, you thumbs up and hearts. Thank you. Ruby gave you hearts. Hey, Susan, awesome. she gave Thank you hearts. You. Match it, Susan, match it. Hey, Susan. So this is the little uh, oval we're going to work on, and this is another, this would make a gorgeous, another gorgeous ornament or, um, you know, home decor if you're, if you have French country or, uh, what is the, cottage chic, what is the yeah. new thing now? This all, Farmhouse just, chic all this just goes right in with that, okay? So what we want to do is put our cameo on here. Forward now. Okay. Remember, I'm a little behind still. Okay. I don't think I'm as behind on Facebook, though. Oh, good. So I'm going to lift this up. And again, this, this probably really should have dried a little bit longer. It's okay to glue this down wet. Just know that, um, you know, it take, when you're putting these molds together like this, that's a lot of clay to dry. And you guys, I got that wood piece at the Dollar Tree also. It's a beautiful wood Oval. piece for, for a dollar. It's crazy nice, especially with wood gone through the roof. Yes, it is. It is a really, really nice piece. Jane didn't have to do anything. I didn't. It. I didn't have to sand it or anything. She You're absolutely correct. Was, they're very nice. And they, you might not have exactly that, but, you know, they usually have some kind of a blank woods over there. All I did was paint it. And that is also vintage linen. Is that it right? is. Okay. Everything I'm using today is vintage linen. DIY paint vintage linen. All right. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Woohoo! We are so happy you're here. We are. We're so happy you found <laughs> us and you can hear us and we're not cutting in and out and all that craziness. Because we know how frustrating it is you guys are trying to learn something and we're going we in and out ten times until finally. It's very frustrating. We, we go out forever. 
Mm -hmm. Peggy says, I agree, just give it a good scrub. Yeah, it's not like we're putting chemicals in and then you're going to eat out of it, you know? That's right. Jane and me did butter and ice and everything in ours, and, you know, it was absolutely fine. Yes. I fed some ladies at our church that butter. They're all still alive. <laughs> and that was how many years ago? When did I do that, Emma? Yeah. The ladies at the church were yeah. alive and well. At the so Christmas we dinner for about three years ago, and, and, and they're still alive today. It was very pretty. She did ro butter made out of the rose mold, which is beautiful. And yes. the new rose mold would be even prettier. Is even beautifuler. Yeah, beautifuler. That's not a word, but we'll use it. That's, yeah, that's a word in the style. So she's doing, she did vintage linen on that little um, piece that I got from the Dollar Tree. And, and now we're just going to press this down. And the other thing in the background is her ornament, which also came from the Dollar Store. But don't wait long if you guys want these ornaments from the Dollar Tree because they go very quickly. And then That's once true. they sell out... They're gone. So a lot of times they don't replace yeah, no, them. November, they're not going to be Christmas ornaments there. So get them now. Make so a trip. So if you want them, now's the time. Thanks for the hearts, Terry and Monica Thank you. and Debbie. And El of El and stuff. All of y'all. Thank all of y'all. No Christmas molds, Peggy. The ones from last year are sold out or in high demand. And I can say that we're not getting a Christmas mold this year. But we, we are, are getting not. two Christmas items. But unfortunately, we do not know when. Mary Harris sent you hearts. Hey, hey, thank you. That's, um, I believe that would be Maine. Mary Cushing Harris is yep. Maine. All right, so so y'all, as I was saying about your air dry clay, uh, the your, your clue is that it is called air dry clay. That means that it dries without a kill, without any heat, just in the air, it will cure. So you want, when you are finished with your air dry clay, you want to be sure that you uh, wrap it up tightly as possible. This is um, Glad Wrap Cling and, Cling and Seal, and this is what I use. Press and Seal. Press and Seal. This is what I use to wrap my air dry clay with. I wrap it first in its original wrapping, and then I wrap it in the Press and Seal, and then I put that inside just a Ziploc baggie, okay? And I press all the air out and seal it back up. And make sure that I have as much air as possible out of there so that it'll be nice and soft and pliable the next time. Because if it ever dries out, it, you really cannot reconstitute it, okay? So. If you um, catch it a little dried out, you can put it in a wet paper towel and try. Yes. But if it goes too far, you can't fix it. That's right. You cannot fix it. So um, just just know that as you're um, as you're working with it. You know, it's okay while, if you're working with it to have it out. But as soon as you're finished, you really should wrap it back up. Because every time you open it and you work with it, a little bit more air gets to it. And so it... You know, it just starts curing out. I, I, I'm not trying to make it sound terrible, but it's just very important that you be sure you keep it um, wrapped up as much as possible. So this is vintage linen. I'm just going to go back over the cameo with the vintage linen. Hey, Anna Arthur. She said, hey, hey. you all are the best. Can I just come up there and pitch a tent? Yeah, yep. well, please. Come right ahead. <laughs> We'd do. love to have you. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, um, <laughs> that's sweet. You can come. Come anytime you want. Let us know you're coming. Yeah. So with, with DIY paint, it is a clay-based paint. It's, it's very thick. It's very heavily pigmented. So what you just saw me do is spray my paint with just a spritz of water so that I can move it around on my surface. Um, you don't really necessarily need more paint with DIY paint. If you feel your brush starting to drag, what you really need is water to move your paint. Okay? Now, did you paint the other ones too, or you're not going to? I haven't yet. You mean the ones on the Christmas yeah, ornament? Yeah, because I wanted to yeah. show them some dark and decrepit. Maybe well, I can dry that one while you're painting. This one should one. dry fairly quickly because the top of this uh, mold is dry. Okay, but if you need me to do the heat on it while you paint the other one, you can. Might be not be a bad idea. Because we're at that. a half hour. I mean, we don't have to 
okay. get so crazy, but we don't no. want to hold them up forever. Right, we do not. We're trying to get it done, but I'd love for you guys to see the dark and decrepit. The dark so and the beautiful. decrepit is going to make it pop. It's going to make it pop, baby. So let me just get the paint kind of held evenly here. I don't know what all those numbers are, Evelyn. They might be supposed to be hearts. You guys are way ahead of us on it. We're learning. And remember, what I have on my end is not what you have. So I'm going to have to find that caption thing and change that, but I can't right now. We're just, we're just proud we're just to be so here. We're so proud of ourselves that we yeah. made it on here. We're just proud to be here. And we're not going in and out saying broadcast interrupted. That's we're, right. Woohoo! We're so excited. No broadcast Finally, <laughs> we get to finish a complete tutorial. Okay, yeah. that, looks, that looks good. Yeah, Paint you looks nice. Blow it, yeah, know. that would be great. All right, I'm just going to put this down for a minute. Let me see if I can pick it up for you. Yeah, you got a bunch of lumps. Uh, yeah, there you go. There awesome. You go. I'll take it. All right, so now let's work on this one. We'll put a, we're going to put some paint on this one while Anna dries that one. And then we're going to do the, uh, the dark and decrepit. We'll need to do a little, uh, you know, patina first, clear. Sorry for the noise, you guys. I don't think it'll be too bad, though. You could also absolutely do wax. You that could. would be deadly also. Maybe you should do one wax and one knock in the cupboard. That would be good. Yeah. Cool. I don't think we'll have time to... Uh, this one's because the moles aren't dry. It's going to oh, be hard okay. to go pa much past this. But we can it. do it afterwards too. We can. Show them. Absolutely. You know me. Can you imagine painting this all black, doing one with black, and then oh, all, it'd be gorgeous. White, all white wax? Would it'd be, be beautiful. Gorgeous. It'd be absolutely beautiful. We have to do that. We have to do that with the stopwatch for me. Okay. Pocket watch. We keep calling it a stopwatch. Pocket watch. We know what you mean. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, she said, you know, she said, no. Evelyn said, oh, crap, no. UPS just came and the dogs are going crazy. Then they threw something on the keyboard and ran to the door to save the UPS driver, LOL. So that's what all those crazy things were. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, we love that. We love the dogs. We love dogs. Blame it on the dogs. That's right. All right, so let's set this one down. Try not to touch it too much. If I have to touch it up a little bit, I can move it out of the way. Ah, well, <laughs> now you really got to touch it up. Actually, it's not too bad. This one's getting there. It needs a little bit more in the cracks here. Okay. It's probably good enough. Let's see. I think you're going to need to put a little... Yeah, my poor UPS on. man, my neighbor dogs try to eat him. They're not even my dogs and they try to eat him. And he's not allowed to come up to my door. He's like, ma'am, you got to get your dogs. I'm like, they're not even mine. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use a little satin uh, rock hard top coat on this one. I just think it'll, uh, it'll probably dry a little faster. So we can keep moving here with our project for you. I think this one's dry enough. Good. I'll take it. I think it's perfect. Okay. Lay it on me, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like Elvis, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so let's we're gonna we're gonna use some dark and decrepit on this. But before you, in any time you want to use a dark stain on a project, in order to be able to to control the um, the dark patina, you you should always put a coat of clear first, and that allows you. That's I call it an insurance policy. That allows you to be able to manipulate the darker stain so that it doesn't grab this paint. DIY paint is very open, very, very porous. And so if you um, if you try to put a stain directly down over the paint, the paint is going to grab that and it's going to be very hard to move that stain around. It's just going to soak into the paint. 
and it's you're you're just not going to get the effect that you would so like. So it's the same thing Jane always teaches you with wax. If you're going to use a colored wax, you always put a clear wax coat first. That's correct. Same thing, it's your insurance policy, so you're able to wipe off the dark and not have it be too dark. So this is the same principle. Exactly. You could, you could absolutely put dark and decrep it on without a base coat, but if you do, it might get too dark and you might not be able to take it off. That's right. And we don't want this to be all dark and dingy. We want it to be highlighted. Yes. So... So this is how you do that. Ellen said one of the dogs was her neighbors too. I know. What is <laughs> up with that? They're they're crazy. They don't like the sound of that truck. And thank you all again for being here. We're so We're, excited. We are. Thank you so much. This is the first time in what almost two weeks we've been able to complete a project. Yes, with it you. is. So see that dried almost as fast as I put it on there. So if you if you just want to hand me that little heat gun and I'll, I'll hit it just a, it yeah. won't take this but just maybe a minute to dry. He says, by the way, I love my foils. Did a welcome board for my gingerbread wood plaque. Awesome. That's awesome. Yay! Yeah, yeah. We're so foils, glad. Foils are fun. Foils are fun. We are absolutely out of foil adhesive, but it is coming and our suppliers out. Yeah, our suppliers. That's why we're out. out. So well, as soon as we get it, it'll be back on the website, and we yes. know we know we're sending you some more, Peggy. And we know I we yeah, yeah we have yours see. back ordered. <laughs> it'll go out as soon as we get it. Yes. Sometimes things. Some things have been fine during this crazy times, and other things have not been. Ooh, I'm excited to see this. It's going to be pretty. Yeah, we're right at, um, we've been on 38 minutes. So okay. we're going to be just right. It doesn't tell you on there. I just looked at my, uh, my time. Okay. It's not like Facebook. It doesn't show me anything. Oh, okay. All right, so awesome. that's good enough. And thanks, you guys, for being here. We're so excited. And please, I, you can share us with your friends. We're just yes. getting our channel started, so we're just learning. We Yeah, and we would love for you to share us. Absolutely love for you to share us. Let's see if I can just squeeze a little bit of this down in here on this side, just enough to get me started. There we go. All right, so move that over dry enough to do that and that's DIY dark and decrepit it's definitely a favorite of ours here at Funkature we love it don't panic yeah it always makes me panic and just like when she uses dark wax I start to hyperventilate but then she's able to work it back and it's the same thing with this but what you want to do is put a nice thick coat you want it to seep seep into all those low spots that's what you're trying to get it to do. And and you want it to stay there in the low spots. Oh, hey, teen. She said, love this. Hey, it's teen. elegant. Hey, Flower says, hey. Had hey, to hey. into YouTube and remember her password. Sorry I'm late. Oh, we're so happy you're We're just here. glad you're here. Yeah. We're just glad you're here and you found us. <laughs> we're just glad people showed up. Yeah, we're we so We weren't happy. sure what would happen when we went over here. We, yeah. we thought we might be going solo. Yeah, we didn't so know we're so we glad. were going to be whistling Dixie to ourselves <laughs> over here. That's right. <laughs> so when, when she see, she will lift that up for you guys to see for yes. sure. Yes. So I need to go around the edges to let's get the edges here a little and bit. And that it started out as vintage linen, and then she put a sealer on top, and this is dark and decrepit, which is a glaze, correct? That is. It's a glaze. It is a glaze. So it's not a paint; it's a glaze. It it's is. Like would be like a stain. Like correct? a glaze or a stain. Okay. Yes, that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. Or like a stain, similar to a stain. So it's the same thing. You're going to put it on, and then you're going to wipe it off. And if yeah. it's not, if it's if you want more, you can just add more. Yes. And so the way the way you want to approach this is I use baby wipes to take the stain away. So the way you want to approach this is you want to wipe it back. And if it and if too much wipes back, then you just add more dark and decrepit. Hey, Mary Lee said I've hey, done hey. it all too. We're so excited. Woohoo! Woo yes, we're loving it with no interruptions. This is amazing. I know IOD had several problems with their lives. One of them went live like three times till they finally gave up. 
Yeah, I I know. Well, we learned the first time it happened. We were actually live the day the whole thing crashed for the first time, and we were frantic. We thought, Anna said, "Did you pay your electric bill?" It's the <laughs> said, internet. Yes. It's the internet. <laughs> and he, she said, "Are you sure you've paid your internet?" And I said, "Yes, I've paid my internet." And we're in the we're in the mountains, so you never know what's going to work or not. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. It is. Joy says, "Hello, ladies. These are gorgeous. Hey, hey, Betty." We're so glad hey, you hey. found us. Is Welcome. that Ms. Hill? It sure is. Welcome. Look at that. That is stunning. Holy macaroni. Isn't gorgeous. she pretty? Will it's... we be here on Friday? Uh, we probably will, right? Yeah, yeah I we're think gonna so. Do it until Facebook, you know, gets better. Figures it... out what it needs to do to fix itself. Because it's definitely a Facebook problem. It is It is not, inter... it's not, uh, internet connections. Problems, it's not yeah. individual problems. It is definitely a Facebook problem. Yeah, so day. yes, Friday we'll be here too. And um, and unless, you know, we'll we'll make it very clear on the page where we're going to be. And remember, I wherever we are, I will always post the link on the page. So if you're not sure, just go to the Puncture page and you can Okay, I like it. Yes, it's been crazy since then, Betty. It's been no good. It's just been horrible. Everybody's been interrupted and so, I like it like that. If you wanted the outside to be darker, then you just need to let this dry, and then you would reapply the liquid patina, and you could darken this up. But I kind of like it with just the cameo. Oh, yes. That's stunning. I think it's stunning. What do you guys think? I love it, too. Yes, it I was a crazy day. Pretty. Linda said they thought IOD broke Facebook. I know. It was the... The day when everyone was trying to show the new stuff. Yes. Betty says YouTube and Instagram are often better. Flower says very elegant piece. Thank you. Yeah, it's really pretty. That's a, so, a wood piece from Dollar Tree. A teeny tiny hole drilled in the top and a beautiful ribbon. Um, what kind of gross grain ribbon in the top would, would really um, just be very beautiful. You could even put maybe a small ribbon up here. We could do some IOD molds around the edges, which I might do. That would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, the little bead. This depends on how, uh, you know, what you want. Just how fancy you want it. It could so, be hung at, on, on a regular wall. You could make it an ornament on a big tree. You could put it as somebody's um, to from tag and they can then use it as could. an ornament. I That's mean, right. You could do so many things yeah, with it. Yeah, you could use it as a gift tag. You sure could. So, okay. Well, there you go, y'all. All right, so let me flip my camera here. And Betty we'll, says uh, she loves the gro gross grain ribbon. Gross, gross grain? Gross grain ribbon. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's, um, it's, it's a type of fabric, oh, so okay. it, it's not a color, it's a, a type of fabric. The feel of it, the look of it. It's the feel it. and the look of it, yeah, it's called and gross show grain. them the, uh, can you pick that up or is that yes, too dry? Yes, I can. Yeah, uh, and the other one, I don't know if you can. Okay, so here's this one, it's a little wet on the edges, but I, you know, I can always fix, fix the edges. But she, she really, she is stunning. Thank you, Betty, you always share and we really appreciate it. That, that is a beautiful beautiful cameo. <laughs> Evelyn says UPS at our house now because she hears Georgie barking. <laughs> yeah, yes. George is at the door because he wants us, to, he he sees we're in here and he wants us to come out there. Yeah, he's barking. But if I open the door, he wouldn't come he in. He won't come in. He just wants that's the right. door open. So, let me turn this so it's right side up. Teresa this is the said, ornament. thank you ladies. Beautiful projects today. Teresa, thank um, you for much. finding us. Yeah. We really appreciate it. A little it. bit too much glare to see her on the, uh, the Christmas we'll do ornament. we'll that but for sure. And there's we'll, a little glimpse of her face. We'll you can, you yeah, we'll, we will, we'll do this one too. We may uh, put a uh, barn with patina on this one. That one might be pretty too. That'd be cool. Yeah. Look very, uh, uh, chic. All right, that's Chevy enough. Shoes. Everybody so, can hear you. Obviously, a bird has flown by out there, and George needs for us to know about it. So, okay, guys. Thank you so much. We're so glad you found us over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of weeks with Facebook, and, uh, and we'll be back so thank on you so here much. Friday. Friday yes, we'll, at 3 p.m. Friday Eastern. at 3, and we will be, yes, on YouTube, yeah, on our channel. Absolutely. So, y'all, ha just have a wonderful week. Thank you so much. We're we're so grateful for all your support. Y'all just y'all just warm our hearts. So peace. Take good care, and we'll see you same same bad channel yeah. on Friday, three o'clock.
All right, let's see. Good. See you later. Mary says gorgeous. <laughs> Thank Thanks you, huh?